Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today I will be drawing a camel. So I really hope you like it and let's get started. So this one is going to be a sitting down camel with those uh, beautiful decorations on uh, for using to go on top of the camel. So if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. And along the way, while I draw, I will also give you some fun facts about camels. So today I will be uh, reading spana.org um, to get the fun facts from. I'm not sponsored by it or anything, just reading the fun facts because I thought they had some fun, interesting facts that we can all learn about camels from. And also, if you have any ideas for me to draw for next time and want to request something, comment below and let me know. And if you want to connect with me, connect with me through Facebook or Instagram. All the information is in the description box below. So going back to the drawing, we're going to start off with the face of the camel and I'm gonna build the body from there, the neck area and the body. So like I said before, the camel is sitting and I'm also going to add those little details uh, to add some color into the camel. And uh, I have, if you've gone to Egypt or to a country where camels are in, people use camels for um, like transportation. And also if you go near the pyramids, you can actually go on top of a camel and uh, those camels are pretty colorful just like the one we are drawing today um, they have all these blankets and everything on top of them so they look really colorful and pretty so um, that's what we are drawing so i really hope you enjoy this one and let me know if you have any requests or any fun interesting facts that you would like to share about camels uh, let me know in the comments below So to give you some fun facts, there are two types of camels, one humped or uh, dromedary camels and two humped uh, Bactrian camels. Okay, so one hump and two humps. And also camels have three sets of eyelids and two rows of eyelashes to keep sand out of their eyes. So it makes sense and they have really beautiful long eyelashes. If you look at a camel, you will see that they have like a lot of eyelashes. Makes sense because they are in the desert and the sandstorms and things like that. So they have to protect themselves and having three sets of eyelids and two rows of eyelashes probably helps a lot with that. And also camels have thick lips, which let them forage for thorny plants other animals can't eat and camels can completely shut their nostrils during sandstorms. Wow, that's interesting. And thanks to thick pads of skin on their chest and knees, camels can comfortably sit in very hot sand, just like the one we are drawing today. So if you want to add to this drawing, you can also add like um, sand, um, like mountains or even pyramids at the back of the drawing. Really, you can really add to this drawing if you want to. And their humps let them store up to 80 pounds of fat, which they can leave off for weeks and even months. And when a camel finally does find water, he can drink up to 40 gallons in one go. Um, some interesting facts, a lot of facts really, uh, very interesting facts. Camels are very strong and carry up to 900 pounds for 25 miles a day. And camels can travel up to 40 miles per hour, the same as a racehorse. 
um, and if you make a camel angry they can spit as a way to distract whatever they think is a threat so they spit on you if you if they think that you're a threat they will spit on you apparently and mother camels carry their calves up to 14 months before giving birth and some calves are born completely white and turn brown as their ad adult coat becomes uh, like comes in and there are over 160 words to for camel in Arabic alone 160 words for camel so there you go some fun facts from spana.org and to give you some more um, fun facts because uh, we've seen them in like n not a lot of people have seen camels um, so they have very interesting facts that you can really learn about and um, they seem like really interesting animals as well so we're almost done with the drawing so we'll soon be going into coloring I will be using color pencils as always and um, I will show you quickly how I colored it all so the camel I will be coloring it brown um, and beige color and then I will add a lot of other colors to these rugs and all the other details and you can see that I'm really going in quickly and coloring it all because it is very detailed it takes a little bit um, of time to color everything and make sure that all the colors are blended and everything you can really um, do a lot with this drawing a lot more than the way I colored it really make it look real uh, by um, uh, making sure those black lines blend properly with the colors and everything so um, let me know if you need more tips or want me to show you uh, the coloring section uh, slowly so uh, this one I thought uh, I will also show you the full color drawing at the end of the video if you want to look at the full color drawing as well so you can see that I'm adding in a lot of other colors uh, just to add to the drawing and I will finish it off and show you the full color drawing shortly so I'm adding in purple here and I will also add green, yellow, red, blue um, and uh, I think those were the colors that I used for the rugs and the decorative area of the uh, back of the camel and um, to give you more fun facts I'm reading the factsite.com and um, it says camels hums are not used to store water even though they come from hot climates their hums store fat and also helps the rest of their bodies to stay cooler um, so when needed the fat will be converted to food or water so the word camel comes from the Arabic word when it's literally translated it means beauty so during the second world war german tank drivers would drive their vehicles over camel droppings thinking it would bring them good luck there you go arabian camels are the ones which only have one hump asian camels have two so now that you saw how I colored it as well and I gave you a lot of fun facts about camels uh, now I'm going to show you the full color drawing so this is the full color drawing I really hope you like it and if you do don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me and if you want to buy products with this on don't forget to check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below for products you can buy coasters, books bedding material shower curtains a lot of products so check it out and now i'm going to put some next videos for you to check out next i hope you enjoy those as well and don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel i bring a video every single day to you so i really hope you enjoy this one i will see you tomorrow
Bye.